Have you ever wondered how poison arrows can lead to paralysis, organ failure and even death? Well, even if you haven't, it's coming up in the AQA A-Level Biology exam. So today we're talking about the effect of drugs on synapses. Let's take a closer look at the effects of drugs on synapses. So how do drugs affect synapses? Well, certain drugs can block receptors. These drugs are known as antagonists. This will mean that fewer neurotransmitters will successfully bind to receptors. Curaray is an example of one of these drugs, and it stops acetylcholine from binding receptors at neuromuscular junctions. This is therefore going to stop muscle contraction. Now, it was used as a paralyzing agent for hunting in poison arrows and darts, and was discovered by indigenous people from Central and South America. It works by paralyzing the muscles, which will lead to organ failure, because remember the heart is a muscle, and then death. Now, some drugs mimic the action of neurotransmitters due to them having the same shape, and we call these drugs agonists. A classic example of an agonist is nicotine, which is found in cigarette smoke. If a molecule has the same shape as a neurotransmitter and is found in a synapse, this is going to lead to it binding to receptors on the postsynaptic membrane and causing a response. Now, nicotine, as we've mentioned, is an example of an agonist, and this is going to bind to acetylcholine receptors in the brain. So drugs such as morphine are also agonists, and what they do is mimic endorphins, and these are neurotransmitters that block pain. What morphine will do is block the same receptors as endorphins, and this is going to stop action potentials passing through nervous pathways associated with pain. A further example is found with codeine. Certain drugs lead to increased exocytosis of neurotransmitter from the presynaptic neuron, and this is going to lead to greater numbers of receptors being activated. Amphetamine is an example of a drug in this category. Some drugs, however, will inhibit neurotransmitter exocytosis. And alcohol is an example of this, which is responsible partly for its effects. Another category will inhibit enzyme action. And this class of drugs will stop enzymes breaking down neurotransmitters. For example, sarin is a nerve agent that inhibits acetylcholine esterase at the neuromuscular junctions. And this can lead to paralysis organ failure and death. Let's go through some practice questions to embed this learning. So question one, a neurotransmitter called GABA prevents action potential formation. A drug called Valium increases the rate that GABA binds to receptors. What effect will Valium have on nervous pathways controlling muscle contractions? Have a go at this question and we're gonna go through the answer in a moment. So, the answer here will be that muscle contractions will be decreased, leading to relaxation. This is due to Valium increasing the inhibition caused by GABA, leading to fewer action potentials and therefore fewer muscle contractions. Question two. A positive emotional state is regulated in part by a neurotransmitter called serotonin. An antidepressant called Prozac alters serotonin in synapses, suggest and explain how. Now, what I always say to my students is suggest and explain are two different ways of being asked a question. So you need to give two different points. Now, explain always involves giving reasons. So Prozac basically is going to reduce the breakdown of serotonin which will increase the rate at which some serotonin binds to receptors in the synapse. And this can help patients manage some symptoms of depression. Because if we reduce the breakdown of serotonin, there'll be more serotonin available binding to more receptors. Okay guys, that was a short and sweet one today. I hope you found some value from it. If you did, drop a like down below and put in the comments what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.